What's going on everyone? Back giving you another video for this week. Uh, it's actually supposed to upload this a little bit earlier in the day, but wasn't able to. Anyways, um, what I wanted to talk to today is actually about uh, my predictions for 2016. Last week I did basically an overview of how I think the program has been up to this date and just gave my thoughts about that. This video for this week is going to be basically how I feel about how the season is going to go for this year. Um, well, first of all, it's up to a week, just about a week before the season, and we still don't know who the starting quarterback is going to be. Um, I don't know what the secret is. I don't know why we don't know up until this point. They say that they're not going to know until... Uh, kickoff or at least the day of who the starting quarterback is going to be. I don't know what the secret is, but um, we just have to kind of wait and see. They say it's a neck and neck battle, so I guess you know whoever whoever comes out on top, I got confidence that you know they're going to do well. Though I will say I'm kind of the one thing I will say that I'm kind of miffed about is. Uh, Shane Morris. Now, I remember when he came in, uh, he was supposed to be, you know, touted as this big-time uh, recruit. And, um, I mean, at one point in time, he had been rated as high as a five-star quarterback. And I still remember watching, or not watching one of the games, but I saw, like, uh, he was in a in his senior year, he had he went into this uh, into the playoffs, and I remember looking at his stats, and they were just god awful terrible. And I was like, God, the hell is this guy a five star quarterback? And obviously, it just hasn't translated into into you know the college scene because I mean, last year, I mean, you would have thought that had been his opportunity, but no, he had someone who was a transfer, basically like a cast out from Iowa comes in and becomes a certain quarterback and basically leapfro leapfrogs him. Now this year he got a transfer from Houston and a registered junior now that are basically jumped in front of him and those are the two contenders. So that just tells me you know he really wasn't as good as I thought he was. So in any case um, I will say I mean, I'm I'm not concerned about quarterback. I mean, that's going to be what pushes us to, you know, as far as really getting the wins in very, uh, very competitive games. I, my main concern really is the defense and then the linebackers. Um, I mean, we're kind of thin there, and I, I don't know how it's going to work out for this year as far as it goes. Remember at the end of last year, we ended up just getting shredded right up the middle. Teams were just running right up the gut. I remember it really started um, against that game uh, against Indiana when that guy was just running wild on us. And I said, okay, well, maybe it's just him because he's you know he's a really good running back and they, that they have a really good running game. Mm -mm. I mean, teams just started running on us. And, uh, I mean, that Ohio State game was just god off. I mean, they just ran the ball down our throats the whole game. So, I'm really concerned about that. Um, I know you got Jabril Peppers, Peppers going from being in the secondary to being a linebacker. That I'm kind of concerned about. Just I know I, I know the guy is multi-talented. I know he excels at every position. I, I just think he might be a little undersized to be a linebacker. <laughs> I don't know, we just have to wait and see. I mean, of course the guys are giving rave reviews about him and saying, you know, he's just a beast, and I, I'm sure he is, but we just have to see how that goes. Um, other than that, I mean, I, I think we're going to be fine for this year. Um, you know, as far as how far we're going to go, I mean, I think the team has the ability to uh, basically, I, I think they have the ability to get all the way to the end and be in the playoffs this year. I mean, they have that type of talent. 
I mean, up front, I, th I think they have great talent on the line, great talent in, in the secondary. Like I said, the, the linebackers are a little bit of a question mark, but I think that all together as a whole, the defense is going to be sound. On offense, as long as our quarterback play is good, um, we have pretty much a returning uh, starting lineup as far as um, the offense goes, quarter, uh, the wide receivers, got full confidence in them, uh, tight ends, of course, running game. That That's going to be kind of another key. Um, we really struggled running the ball last year. I mean, we had a couple of games where we broke out, but for the most part, we really didn't run the ball like we needed to. And that just that has to change for this year. Um, I mean, we got to get some push from the offensive line. So hopefully that will improve, and that will definitely help in the passing game. Because I remember last year, at least once a game, Jehu Cheston was being missed on, you know, a, like a, just a wide-open touchdown where he was behind the defense and the ball gets overthrown or whatever the case may be. That was happening at least once or twice a game. So... You know, hopefully we have a little bit better, you know, down the field play and, uh, you know, we can connect on some of those. The first game is going to be real interesting. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's going to be a good test as far as showing what we, you know, what we're made of. Because I've seen, you know, at the beginning of seasons before where we just came out the gates blasting and then once we got into Big Ten play, we were struggling. So... Um, I mean, I haven't really heard too much about Hawaii and how good they are, so um, we'll just see how that goes. But um, yeah, I think I think that they have the ability to make the playoffs this year. We have three games that I think will be really tough, and those are the away games: Michigan State, Ohio State, and Iowa. Um, Man, I, I mean, I remember. I mean, we should have had the game last year at Michigan State. So, but then again, this t this go around is on the road, and you know how that goes for college kids on the road. So, we just have to wait and see. I mean, last year we only lost one game on the road, and that was the first game against Utah. And I remember at the beginning of the season, everyone was talking bad about us because we lost to Utah. But then saw what Utah did for the season, especially going into Oregon and smashing them. So. I mean, it ended up being a very quality loss. So I think Harbaugh is going to have them, you know, prepared for uh, this go around. And um, I think that, you know, we can at least win two of those three road games. I don't think we're going to run the table. We're gonna, it's going to be at least one hiccup on our way to the end of the season. You know, hopefully it's not the last game. You know, if anything, one of those m games in the middle... Because, you know, it's always, you know, what have you done for me lately? How you finish the season? It's, it's never good to, lo you know, lose the last game of the season and then hope to get into the playoffs or whatever the case may be. I mean, right now, you know, first things first, you want to win the Big Ten, and then after that, make the playoffs. Um, I mean, we have the talent to win the whole thing. We just have to play consistently, we just have to play smart, and um, we just have to finish. Finish all the games. We can't have a, you know, we can't have what happened in that Michigan State game where, you know, you all but won it and then you just mess up at the end and just, you know, just shoot yourself in the foot. So, um... Like I said, I think we're, we're going to do really well this year. Um, it's kind of disappointing that you know we lost two wide receivers from this uh, from this last uh, recruiting class with Hawkins Jr. and Amir Mitchell. I don't know what's up with that. Uh, you know, it's really going to hurt us going down the line as far as depth at wide receiver. But um, you know, hopefully, hopefully it won't hurt us too badly. We'll be alright for this year. Hopefully we can bring in some, you know, great talent at the wide receiver uh, position for next season that I guess we'll be able to go in right away. 
and uh, we just have to keep the, the momentum going. So, anyways, um, this is it for now. Next week, Saturday morning, I'm going to post another video. And this video that I'm going to be posting next week is going to be uh, basically my pre-game prediction of how the game is going to go for uh, this week against, or sorry, well, for the week coming up against Hawaii. And um, what I'll do is after that game, uh, I'll post my thoughts and feelings about the game um, as far as my reaction to it and the score and all that stuff. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.